Hello dear ones. Check out the shades. It's Alice. I'm over here in Santa Monica on, on a, a street north of Wilshire, a residential street. And I was reminded when I was for 20 years I lived in Santa Monica and I lived in a tiny rent controlled apartment and I worked at UCLA as a, as a secretary and um, I used to walk on this street and I used to think wow if I just had a place like this or if I lived on this street I'd be really happy maybe one day I'll be able to live there So uh, when I retired, I, I, I couldn't afford to live on a street like this, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But I moved to a house in the, in the burbs, in the, in the less expensive burbs, and it was bigger and it was closer to nature. And at first, I was really happy, <laughs> and because I'd achieved my dream, you know, to move into a house in a kind of rural setting. And then um, a year went by or so, and I started to notice that everything was kind of really the same, except I had more yard work to do. <laughs> so uh, I thought I'd show you this street a little bit. So let's see what I can do here. <laughs> OK, here we go. All right. So I'm just going to show you a couple of places. This is one house here. There's a winding brick walkway and kind of secret little places inside. And we're going along the walk here, facing the ocean. The ocean is just over the cliffs at the end of, at the end of this street. And uh, you see the street is lined with beautiful old magnolia trees. They grow pretty well here. They, they grow bigger down south in the United States. Kind of beautiful. Beautiful white blossoms. Hardly any traffic on this street. Beautiful green grass. And the next house we're coming to, the houses are all very different here. And the next house we're coming to is it's got kind of easier on the water. You know, water in California is very expensive, so if you look at the landscaping in a completely different kind of house here, kind of a Spanish culture house, and uh, the grounds are a mixture of clay and sand with water tolerant, or what do you call it, low water plants in them. Completely different. I learned a lot about plants on this street. And then this next house, it's, it's, it's a modern house, so that's just an example of the use of hardscape and concrete. It hardly requires any water. And when you look, uh, when you look closely, there are just a few drought-tolerant plants in the yard. Very modern. So three different kinds of them, and then there's a lot of other kinds of houses on this street. Beautiful trees. So I just thought I'd mention, you know, I don't know how much money is tied up on this street, well, quite a bit probably, but when push comes to shove, I mean the houses are beautiful, but to my way of thinking, it's really the trees that are the most beautiful thing. And trees are free to walk under everywhere. That's all I have to say today. Blessings. Amen. <laughs>